Welcome back everybody to uh, the track blader. We are at video 12 and uh, this is the final track assembly for the passenger side. This will be the last video on tracks and framework. Once we get through this video, this track will be on and uh, when I build the other side, I'm not going to bother filming it unless something special happens. So where we're sitting now is I've got another bracket up to the frame added in there and uh, built a cross member here for the for a spot right here and then I'm going to also add a bracket from here up to the axle and that's just going to act as a uh, transfer the torque to the frame of the machine so that that whole axle doesn't bend forward too. All right, we got all the brackets done for now for the uh, frame. So the one at the front, uh, piece of inch and a half tubing going up to uh, the cross member there for the front frame. We got the two, two inch that go to uh, some mounting points underneath the vehicle. Got a lot of sunshine there. And uh, I had to add this cross member here. The, uh, just, I didn't want to go up to this at an angle. Just to change the dimensions a little bit. So that it would help to reduce twist. Uh, so this is a piece of two inch to a two inch cross member. And then I added this one inch down here. Just to provide some stability this direction. So definitely possible, definitely thought about this, that there might be some twist yet in this frame and how it's going to work. So, uh, we'll see, I guess. Give it a shot on the line, how it looks like. So I'm going to jack it up the vehicle and get this side up higher. Once this side's up higher, I can fit the uh, wheels back on and then put the track on, tighten up the lug. Once I get the track on, get the front wheel on, I'm going to uh, put the battery in it and start it up and let it idle once I get the track fitted on. But I'll uh, probably put the track on, size it, cut it final assembly and then start her up let it idle and put it in gear and see what happens I'll probably on the other side of the drive axle I'll probably uh, I'll just do something to hold it still not sure yet what well I got started to put the track on and realized I should probably video this obviously I'm going to be short I've got bolted up right now but So I'll pause the video and I'll put a few more cleats on. I'm going to set it up with three, now there's three holes. I'm going to set five for overlap and then that's the amount you can stretch the track. If it's too short, you can always lengthen it. So well, it's getting close. I'm going to go and pause the video and put some more cleats in here. All right, I got the, uh, I got to run it. I can give it a boost. I got my camper battery in there. I haven't tried uh, putting it in gear yet. Well, well, we'll see what happens. Let's uh, put it in gear. Pray that I don't uh, 
This here can hook in the in the ones I've seen the commercial versions these have all been rounded off a little bit like this and that I think is because of the hooking action that it's grabbing the other end of the as it's trying to come off so yeah it could have something to do with it got to the uh, double wide spots as well and it's hooking differently there I don't know but anyways I'm not super confident. I mean, it's got the uh, blocked up really well, but I'm not. If I had a better method of holding this end still, I'd maybe try it again, but without somebody to watch, I don't want to risk it. I'd rather have this secured properly. But it turned, I know it turned, and I'm gonna watch the video after. So there, that's that. Uh, actually the next step, I'm not going to do these brackets. Next steps are going to be working on the braking system and finalizing that drivetrain because right now I have no way of braking as you heard when I put it in park it ground the gears. And that's because I can't actuate the brakes right now. So uh, that's the next step. So yeah, fairly successful other than whatever it hooked on. But it looks like it's clear, there's no spots where it's grabbing onto the uh, tracks or the wheel so uh, I don't know I think it's gonna work or uh, we'll find out here in a couple months when I get the other side finished and the braking system finished so. all right thanks guys and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, if you have any comments or questions just add them at the end